I've got a question for you. Are par threes easy? Let's find out because I'm going to play this 155 yard par three. I'm going to use six golf balls, which I know is not allowed, but I'm going to break the rules just for this video. And I'm going to see what my aggregate score is with six golf balls. Is it going to be six pars? Can I make a couple of birdies? Am I going to mess up on a couple of hole, a couple of shots and make a bogey or a double? It's a tricky hole this as well. We've got water left, bunker right. The flag, oh, Jesus, I shouldn't have chosen this hole. The flag is brutally, brutally cut into the top right corner where I know it's a very small plateau on the green, bunker short and the runoff behind it. So I'm going to be aggressive on a couple of shots and maybe a little bit safer on a few as well. But let's see if par threes are actually easy or not. I don't think they are. Okay, flag is 160. Covering the bunker is 140. And onto that plateau just left of the flag is approximately 160 as well. Good God. What a choice of, what a choice of hole. I could have found an easier one just to make myself look better. Wind is slightly into and off the right as well, so it's pushing the golf ball away from the target. Oh, okay, right, I'm gonna have, I've got an A time for my first shot because I'm feeling that the wind's not massively into. So I'm gonna start this to the right of the flag. What I'm aiming for here is better than level par. I do not want to be over par, but bogeys are gonna be, birdies are gonna be a lot harder to come by than bogeys. Okay, wish me luck. First strike was a bit clean. Let's see where this lands. Oh, it's landed on the top plateau. Right, we've got the club. We've actually got the right club. That wasn't a great strike either. It was a bit clean, which I suppose may have reduced the spin a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that was a, not a bad start. I feel like that's one par in. Right, let's get a nicer strike though. That's a great strike. Wind's just touched it at the top. That is just left of the first ball. I'm aiming right of the green now. This is scary because this could be easily bogey territory if it doesn't move. Oh, it's moving. It's probably moved more left than the first two. Stop, stop, stop. Three balls on that top plateau. So three pars I would expect so far. Maybe one of them dropped in, maybe. Well, if nothing else, I'm consistent. I'm getting more and more left. Oh no, it's taken the slope. Oh no. That ball's landed on the, on the plateau and moved further left. Oh, that's turned on to the flag now, that's better. That's better. Oh, that is good. Ah, stay. Okay, we've got, we've got about five balls on the plateau, which is a quite a decent landing area in fairness. I'm quite happy with myself there. One's gone a long way left off the slope. That's three put territory. So, okay, so coming up onto the green, one really good shot, which I'm really happy about. Three identical shots there, just kind of stopping on that crest of a hill. One just about stopped on the top plateau, and then one's obviously gone all the way down there. Right, after seeing those six shots, what score are you predicting? Level par still? Could we sneak a one put in there? You can see the flag there, just downwind from where we're stood now. And that's where we've kind of come from. So it's been a quite a strong right to left wind for Dubai with the flag firmly on this right side as well. Right, big slope up the hill, left to right, and then it goes back down. It trundles down the hill, down grain as well. Right, we're over there. Oh no, it died at the top of that hill. Go, go, go. Oh, it just died at the top of the hill and didn't have enough momentum as it was going over. That's going to be tricky. Right, I've got three relatively identical putts, but also three pretty tricky putts as well. So this one's going to come off the slope, left to right. 
and then go right to left, I think, at the end. Let's see, we've got three attempts now. Let's see how we get on. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh. Okay, I've learned. I'm going to tap this one in, get it out of the way. Okay, we're one in for par. Oh, getting that break at the end. That's a gimme, isn't it, folks? I feel like a lot's going to come back down to that par put later. That's making me nervous already. I've not hit it. I've not hit it. It's online as well. It's coming back. It's coming back. I've not hit it. I slightly miss hit it. Oh, and that's the difference. Well, just for you sometimes forget we put in. Even if you slightly miss hit it, massively affects the pace. Oh, I nearly hit the tee. <laughs> oh, it's another par. Right, we are four pars in. This is where, this is the business end. I've got one putt for birdie and a distance one for par, really. Right, this sort of distance, well, this one gets the treatment now, the full treatment. I've lined the writing up with where I want to go. I've got this right on the edge, right edge, no more than right edge. This is a massive putt because I need to get this in. It gives me a little buffer. Come on, right edge. Get the line perfect to the right in. Trust it, feels weird, but always trust it. One look, two, three, pace, come on. Missed it. Slight, oh God, stop. Ah! Slight pull. Okay, <laughs> just about made that one. <laughs> right, last one. This to finish, level par. God, this is stressful. Great little exercise, never really done this before. Six shots to see how consistent you are to hit the green and then how consistent you are where you put him. Come on, little bit. Right edge, inside edge. Yes. Oh, I called the yes, oh, that glasses are gone. Called the yes early as well. Happy with that, guys. Give that a try. Six golf balls onto a par three. I know six is a bit excessive. Make sure you do all your pitch marks. It's a great way to see how consistent you are from a yardage with a, with, with a certain wind, how, how, how kind of aggressive you can be into that wind. You can learn about your own shot shape. You learn about your own general consistency for strike, direction. And then obviously once you're on the green or around the green, your skills are getting up and down and two or one putting, avoiding those three putts like I just managed to do. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Loads more content to come and I'll see you again very, very soon. Level par, take that. Oh. Also, if you strap for a bit of time, Great way of just playing six holes in one.